How's it going, Chip Tribe? It's me, Chips, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we uh, we were here, we were taking down. Oh my God, I clicked on the. Oh, I clicked on Frog, the best. Um, we uh, we defeated the Reptites in their lair, but uh, then. Our boy Lavos decided to come say hello for technically the first time chronologically. Showed up, absolutely obliterated their uh, their lair. He's in there now. It's in there now. I think it's an alien. I don't know. Um, and now we are going to go in and get it. And now, at the end of the last episode, I was like, oh, are we like almost done with the game? <laughs> and you all laughed and said, oh, do you not know what's coming? Uh, and I don't. So, uh, apparently we are not that close to getting through the game. So, as we go in here... Oh. I was going to talk about something, but this seems more important. A gate! Huh. Lava's fast! Deep under Earth now! Might Lava's be the source of these? That one in Magus' keep was immense. What wrong, Chrono? Want fight Lavos? Go here? No. Okay. Okay. So, um, I guess we're going, yeah, I thought we were almost done. Apparently we are not, which, um, where is this going to take us? I keep trying to talk and then I get pulled back in. Oh, so we're not at the, the end of time. T to where have we come? Chrono, where are this place? Okay, before I keep on going with this l delightful sound of wind in the background, um, what was I gonna, <laughs> oh, um, so I was, I'm a little worried, uh, I'm gonna make an update video about this at some point, but, uh, not too far, I mean, I still got, like, I don't know, a few weeks left, but I gotta go back to school eventually, um, and I really wanna finish this before I do, because I won't be able to record when I'm there, so I think I'm gonna start bulk recording these. So, basically, if it takes me a few days to respond to your comments, like, in the, in the episode, like, if you tell me to do something and I don't do it, that's why it's because I already pre-recorded the next one, so that we can finish it, uh, but, okay, um, are we back in the future? This isn't really the future, it's a different future. Skyway? Huh. Not what I was expecting. Land bridge, okay. They're all... Oh, so you go up to the sky and then come back in a different island? Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Is this a place we can go? No? Okay. All right, is there anything here? Another one of these guys. Another skyway. Alright, this is interesting. <laughs> Alright, oh, well this seems important. Yo. Kajar. Blackbird. And small cave. And there's more stuff down there, it looks like. Yo, is that a plane? Yo, alright, let's go into the Kajar first. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research on the ma uh, yeah, magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. What? Are we like way in the future or way in the past? I don't know. Your power differs from ours. It is difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. Where are we? In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. Oh, I think we were going to do that, but then we didn't. Uh, but now, only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things. 
And even if others did, the Queen has ordered us to abandon the use of the sun's power. As such, uh, beautiness con uh, contentment, there is <laughs> a newly blossomed bud. Uh, uh, what are these people talking about? Okay. This is a font of recovery. Rest your weariness, uh, wearied mind and body within, Trevor. Okay, that's a heal. Uh, that's the Sun Temple, which you uh, see to the southern uh, uh, Sky Isle. The Sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the northern shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The queen claimed we had no need for the energy of the tired old sun. Okay. Okay, well, um... I kind of want to explain to these guys how solar power works. The sun doesn't get tired. Um, unless we're, like, so far in the future that it's, like, nearing the end of its life. But that is... Uh, humans would not be here. But it's a video game, so it's possible. Uh, we've been seeing a great deal of young lord... Janus lately before he secretly showed or he scarcely showed his face but now he paces around quite often always looking upset okay what temptest must rage this rage in young lord Janus's head his only friend other than his sister is that cat that follows him around okay okay her majesty queen's zeal has two children lady Schala and the young lord Janus Lady Shala's an incredible child with extraordinary magic powers. With such a gift, uh, her life must be all ease and luxury. Probably not. It's probably, you know, I don't know. How is it that we can have the powers we do? Why do we possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. Okay. My! You're not, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift, too. Yours seems very primitive compared to ours, though. You poor thing. Okay, so this is the future. If she said our magic is primitive, they have... This is a very advanced magical society. Got it. Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. Oh, so have these guys been up here the whole time? My dude? <laughs> He's a shop? Yo, do you have, like, crazy weapons? No, oh, come on. Dude, if you guys are so magical, why do you sell potions and stuff? You should be fine, but I am going to buy some. Are we have 14? Oh, high potions is what we need. I'm going to buy how much? Well, we have a lot of money. I'll buy 10. That seems good. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Uh, let's go get her permission. Platinum armor, yes please. Oh, and this is where we came in. Got it. Okay. So, let's uh, go in some of these things. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. The structure you can see beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is a beacon of light which guides us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. I don't like this Queen Zeal. Seems like she's not so great of a queen. Behold! That out the window is the great Blackbird, built by Balthazar, the guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you think it alive. The guru is a G. Okay, that's literally just a plane. Like, that's not that... I, we could build planes, and we're like, I guess, the equivalent of the Earthbound one, so... Not magic not so cool, is it? The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting uh, palace beneath the waves. It'd be a sight to see when it's... I don't... Okay. Here's my problem with that. If it's under the water, how can you see it? Like, you can kind of see through water, but if it's, like, way down on the ocean floor, maybe you could see the top of it. But unless you go down there, you're not going to see most of it. That seems like a bad place to build a palace. Also, it would fill with water, and then you can't go in there. I guess they got magic, so they could probably fill it with air, but I'm just saying, doesn't seem like a very good plan. 
Yo, are those items? Can I snag them? No? Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. I heard Lady Shala's powers far surpass those of her mother. And then there's her brother, young Lord Jameis. Janus. Jan not Jameis. Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skills. But my uh, precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. Uh, they do love uh, pranks. What? They do so love... Who is... N He's no doubt hidden them all. Uh, how can I work like this? Yo. Okay. Theory here. Uh, those ca I was about to say, maybe we're in the past because we have found capsules that work. So maybe uh, this is actually the distant past. And then the, his capsules are scattered across the land in the future. Or maybe New took the capsules and went to the future and dropped them for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Zeal's progress seems uh, stems from the new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. The guru of life, time, and reason dwell in Zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Okay. Okay. I heard a strange prophet had come to this palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. Yeah, okay, and this guy doesn't want to talk to me. Got it. The guru once told me that the sunstone uh, once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, the energy was slowly depleted, and it turned into the lightless moonstone. Alright, so uh, if you want to evolve one of your uh, Nidorans, all you got to do is get all the energy of the sun into one stone and then use all of it. There you go, moonstone, you're good. You know this, traveler? The moonstone could be restored to the glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require aeons. None of us would ever witness that glorious glow again. Okay. Water someone's wind. Wind makes fire dance. Right? So... It doesn't seem like there's anything for us to do in this castle yet. Besides heal and, uh, you know, learn about where we're at. The blackbird, I guess we'll go here. Yo, they gotta fix this... Pier. Uh, why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? She is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is. You blundering, uh, what? You blundering idiot! They're just doing their jobs. My God, I was so like taken aback by his rudeness. You blundering idiot! Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing here? Hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll trip his card so easily, ha! Huh? Alright, so... Uh... I'm not liking Dalton too much, that's all I'm saying. The Blackbird's a symbol of Zeal's achievements. Ever dreamed uh, a thing could so big could fly, eh? Well, I could, because I, uh, you know, know about airplanes. Okay. So... I guess we'll go in the small cave? Are we in a different small cave? We're up here now. Got it. Oh, that looks like the real palace. Okay. Alright. Alright, I get it. Small cave, zeal, palace. This is the Queen's Palace, in the center of the magical kingdom of Zeal. What is it to say this is the center? Oh, which is to say this is the center of the universe? Okay, these guys very, uh, very full of themselves. They are very, uh, into their own power. Uh, the portal to the ocean chamber is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. Get on it! 
Maybe if you didn't let the freaking non-magical people on the do all the work for you, like, you could actually finish it. I don't like these guys, these zeal people. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location is determined, we began, uh, oh, we began constructing the ocean palace there. Okay, I thought they were gonna build the ocean palace to look for the thing, but they've already found it. Do you like plants, travelers? Sure. Oh, I love them too. But the queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the guru of life. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. Uh, oh, what shall I do? Yeah, grow it in secret. I'll watch the Lorax, all right? Let it grow, my dude. Oh, you're right. The queen's orders, uh, though they may be, it wouldn't go a do to burn a gift from the guru of life. Very well, then. I'll take care of it somewhere safe and secret. Someday, it may just help someone else who loves trees, or loves the earth and trees. Yeah, the earth wasn't looking too hot down there, so, uh, my, what strange clothes. You must have traveled from afar. Use the font of Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Font of recovery. Got it. Do we already talk to you? That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy that escapes his lips has come to pass. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? So, I'm guessing this prophet... Uh, is also a time traveler of sorts. Oh, itchy! Could you scratch my back? Sure. Oh, wonderful! Oh, oh yeah, right there. You got it. <laughs> Uh, thank you. The news scratch. Oh, these are the news. And now we know their scratching spot. Okay. That is, uh. That man appeared only recently, but he earned the Queen's trust quickly with his startlingly accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us as enlightened ones, nor is he an earthbound one. Uh, from where could such a man have come? Yo, this man is Chrono. I'm gonna lose my mind. You do best to speak with the queen or the gurus if you wish to learn the mammon machine and the ocean palace. The mammon machine? But just between you and I, I'd not place much faith in any answers her majesty gives you right now. She's been different as of late. Oh, uh, she's like possessed or something. Are you aware that Balthazar, the guru of reason, maintains a secret chamber in Esh? Eh. Oh, and uh, in okay, okay. All right. So, as much as I do want to talk to all these people, oh, oh, these are the Masamune people, aren't they? I wonder how the Guru of Life is doing. Uh, what are we supposed to do without him, humans? I tell you. Uh, okay. I want to be uh, be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday, if you try hard enough. Our big sister, Doreen, went to Ethna again. Yeesh, she likes to dream. So, this is the past? Because these guys don't recognize us. Okay, okay. So, right now, I'm leaning towards past. Oh, oh, we can get here. Okay, let's go meet the queen. Right now, I'm leaning towards this is the past before even the prehistoric times. Um, like, before Lavos shows up? Her Majesty said she has business at the Ocean Palace. None may pass until her return. What? The door cannot be opened from the outside. Save with a powerful magic key like Lady Shala's pendant. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Oh, I can't use it? Oh, okay. I was like, about ready to say all those chests. That's the same design that's on all the chests. That we've been finding that we can't open. So where do we go? Well, in here we haven't been. Two doors, okay. Shala! Oh, Janice, you've returned. Is something wrong? The Black Winds. You feel the foreboding too. Don't worry. It will be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. 
I wish I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother! She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardon. Or pardons, your highness. The queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Well, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. She got executed? Guillotine? Oh my god. Alright, here's the kid with his cat. Go away! Uh, okay. Alright. And who are you? Lady Charlotte's pendant was made from the same red stone as the mana machine. Ma ma mammon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. Okay. Okay. So now, because they were going to the Ocean Palace, did they leave the door open? Her chain. Oh, oh! Okay. Let me in there. Let me in there. I'm going. I'm go. Oh. Strange. Why no move? A mere door binds his hand, foot, and tongue. Or binds his hand, foot, and tongue. Okay. Your pendant. It looks identical to Lady Shala's. I heard that when Lady Shala communes with the mammon machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. Okay. So we have to go to the mammon machine. Got it. Got it. Um. Also, that's interesting that Marl's pendant. That's Marl's pendant that we pull out. Identical to, uh. Lady. What was it? Lady Shaman? Shaman? I forget. Already. Uh, identical to it. And, uh, probably will work to open the door. So, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Alright. Alright. So, let's get back down. I'm guessing that's the Mammon Machine? So, let's see. How do we... We gotta go back down and kind of go to the left. Oh, no, no, no. Yo, that's the crystal we saw before. Some, where do we see it? We saw it somewhere in like a forest. And I was like, well, it doesn't look like we knew anything with this yet. Now it's up there. Huh. So we have to get over there somehow. Okay, well, we're at 23 minutes, so look, not, not a lot of action happened in this episode, but that's fine. We've had a, a lot of action-packed episodes. Uh, and now... We've got a mystery on our hands, you know? we got to figure out what's going on in this this strange world. Uh, oh! I didn't see that. 12,000 BC. So this is post-prehistoric time by a lot. But pre-everything else. Okay. Okay. So this is the past. Alright. I, I could have just looked at that the whole time, but... With that, I'm going to end off this episode right here. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in next time when we're going to that, the Mammon, what was it, Mammon Machine? We're going to the Mammon Machine, and we are going to uh, get this pendant, go to the Ocean Palace. This is, I was not, I thought we were going to fight Lavos, to be honest. I thought we were, it was going to be like Lavos round one, and then we fight him, and then we get booted out somewhere else, which we did get booted somewhere else, but not, I don't know, this is crazy. But I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.